Yo, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to my YouTube page. Subscribe, rate, review. Leave a comment. Listen for the questions. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I asked a bunch of questions, but leave a comment. I might write back. Thank you for watching. Which brings me to the first ever video slash audio broadcast of the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Sick of the week. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Sick of the week. You hear the theme music. You hear the song. I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Award-winning segment. This award goes to certain someone's with a certain je ne sais quoi as we come to the close of the year 2022 we have to look at of course the sickest fuck of the year but right now we're going to break down some of the greatest most i don't even know uh shocking sick from the last few days um being in florida I wonder, uh, will I be able to ask, is Florida in the house? Uh, is Florida in Sukasa? We shall see. But the first sick goes to some monks in Thailand. Is Thailand in Sukasa? Thai monks. We all know what monks are about. You know, they're about chilling, peace, uh, Dalai Lama, praying, being quiet. Well, they had to clear out a monastery in Thailand. They had to clear out a monastery in Thailand because multiple, not one, not two, not three or four, multiple monks in Thailand were hopped up on that Walter White, that glass, that Breaking Bad, that Aaron Paul, that Brian Cranston, that meth. I don't know where they got the meth from. I don't know. It seems so insane to me to be a monk and also be hopped up on that glass, that Walter White, that 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 Aaron Paul, that Breaking Bad. Because to to sit there and meditate and pray while you're you're you're, I don't even know what meth does to you. I know it's not good for your teeth, uh, uh, and it's certainly not good for your brain. It just seems totally against brand. This has to be a big hit. I don't know if the monks of Thailand actually have a PR person, but that poor bad who's running PR for the monks in Thailand is probably going, what are we going to do? They had to clean house, okay? Because a bunch of monks over there in Thailand, allegedly it was four. Now it's reported that was even more. Monks are hopped up. Listen, you sick f Monks, get it together. If you guys can't be on the straight and narrow, who can be. If monks in Thailand can't be on the straight and narrow, who can be? Moving on. Two flights to talk about. Not fights, flights. Two flights to talk about. Of course, 99.9% .9 of the time when there is an incident on a flight, it's always a flight that's not international. It's not coast to coast. It's always a flight from a small area to another small area. It's a short flight. This is Houston to Ohio. A Houston to Ohio flight. A woman was arrested for what? Trying to open the door on the plane. I don't need to pat myself on the back, but we, we do know that it's a fact. That me, Michael Rapport, a.k.a. the disruptive warrior, the one who lacks self-control, the one who people question whether or not I'm really out of my tree or not, I was on a flight from Houston to L.A. Nobody was asking whether or not I lacked self-control on that flight because, well, everybody was sleeping. Big Baby Davis was sleeping. Well, Baron Davis was sleeping. While other former NBA stars were sleeping, I'm the one who jumped into action as a sick animal, a sick lunatic who was hopped up on sleeping pills, tried to open the door. And Air Marshal Mike 
jumped into action without question. That's me. And I'm still getting harassed when I go through TSA. Take your computer out here, sir. Take your shoes off here. You should be salute me when I, when you see me approaching, when I'm going through customs at the border, you should be salute me. I'm one of y'all. Okay, I, I made my bones. I jumped into action when no one else was awake. When no one else did. The lightning quick, the lightning quick uh, instincts, the lightning quick reflexes of Baron Davis, the lightning quick reflexes of Big Baby Davis. I'll get it. They, those dudes were sleeping. I wasn't. I jumped into action. But on this flight... From Houston to Ohio. Oh, I wasn't on there. I wasn't on there to uh, uh, put the smack down. No. Police had to get involved. When homie, when homie tried to open the door when I was there, we didn't need no police. We threw Duke. We threw him into the, into the bathroom. But this woman, as you can tell, she looks like a sick. Okay, I don't know what she was on. I don't care what you're on. Personally, I don't care what you're on. I don't care uh, 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 what you're feeling, what you're thinking, uh, uh, or who told you to open the door. Uh, take a wild guess. Take a wild guess as to who this woman said to open the door. Who told this woman to open the door? Who is it always? I'll give you, I'll give you a hint. Starts with a J. Boom. Jesus Christ told this woman to open the door on the plane. That's what Je Jesus had nothing better to do on this flight from Houston to Ohio. He, he had nothing better to do. Jesus Christ had, had no other things to, 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 to deal with. He wasn't saying anything else to anybody else. He told this whack job while she was sitting in coach to open the door on the plane. Of course. And then if you look at her, she looks like a sick and, 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 and that's why having a, having this segment, the visuals of it, 99.9% .9 of the time, there is, there is that uh, occasion uh, where the sick fuck doesn't look like the sick fuck. 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, 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 the sick fucks of the week actually do what? Boom. They look like sick fucks. Which brings me to another one. Another midair... Mid-flight, nut job who just couldn't keep it together. This one was on another flight, a 76-year-old guy flying from Florida to Massachusetts. So uh, uh, when we do the sick week, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, I'll say it's Florida in the house, and uh, it's always without a doubt. There's always something cracking in Florida. Uh, uh, there was a 76-year-old man on a flight, okay, going to Massachusetts. Instead of just minding his business, instead of uh, uh, taking a nap, listening to some music, watching uh, some of the television programs that they have on, on, on most flights, reading a book, or just minding your own business, this 76-year-old animal sitting next to a 21-year-old woman started choking his chicken. Okay, he started choking his chicken on the plane. The woman was like, "What? What are you doing?" And this is a twenty, this is a twenty-one-year-old, twenty-one-year-old woman. Uh, this is shocking. He had done that to my wife. Yo, my wife, you, you, you had a problem. But you're picking on a young girl. You're seventy-six. Lock him up. I don't care how old he is. I don't care if Jesus told you to choke your chicken. Because that's that's the old age old excuse. Jesus told me to do this. No, he didn't. Jesus didn't tell you to choke your chicken on the flight. The early morning flight from Florida to Massachusetts. We lock you up. And, and this brings us to uh, 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 Los Angeles. Where le weed is legal. Weed, edibles, oil. They got, they got weed soap. They got weed lotions. They got weed food. They got weed soda. They got weed candy. They got weed brownies. They got it all. 
And that is why if you have weed in the house and you have kids, you need to get yourself a safe or, or, or some high, high standing alone closet or a box or something like that, okay? Because at a middle school in California and an elementary school, 10 Los Angeles students between the ages of 12 and 15, 10 of them OD'd, they had to go to the hospital. Probably because one kid brought in a box of brownies, cookies, who the hell knows. But this stuff, these edibles, this, this is not kids' play. This is not even for adults. Any, anybody who, who messes with those edibles will tell you, 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 don't, you don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen at some point. But when you start playing with those edibles, it's one thing to take bong rips. But when you start messing around with those edibles, you don't know when it is going to get you, but it is going to catch, it's going to get you. My dog once went into a baggie of my edibles, almost killed him, almost killed my dog. My brother, the professor, Professor Rappaport, I talked about this. One time we were in a hotel chilling. I had some edibles. He thought he was eating Hershey's Kisses. Next thing I know, he's in Bellevue. He admitted himself to Bellevue. He thought he was OD. He thought he was having a heart attack. He thought he was having a heart attack. He didn't know what he had eaten. And I, I, I hear from him 36 hours later. He's like, oh, I was in Bellevue. I thought I was having a heart attack. Ba, 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 ba. Uh-oh. We, we play back the evening. I go, you're, you, 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 that's why you don't go into other people's bags and just start taking chocolates. Those chocolates, because you don't know what's in those chocolates. Okay? But 10 of them overdose had to go to the hospital. Somebody's going, yo, somebody's getting in trouble. Somebody's parents are getting into trouble because I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that one of these kids brought it in and like, yo, check, you want a piece of candy? Ba, ba, ba. You know, by uh, uh, the third class of the day, these kids are laid out. Because those edibles, they knock you, they knock you out. Moving on to yet another sick f***. The Liver King. The Liver King is kind of like the Gary V of liver. This this, this guy, this yo-yo, take a look at this guy. This guy has been conning, rusing, and telling people that his all-natural physique is based on working out and eating liver, eating cow bulls, eating bull testicles, eating this, that, and the third. This guy's built uh, uh, like a brick shit house. Anyone can tell that the liver king was hopped up, that he wasn't natty. That's what they call it, natty. Me, it's all natural. You could test me anytime you want. People have questioned, oh, Mike Rapper, you on, are you on juice? You look good. What do you want? I go, this is just... This is planking. This is hard work, dedication. Not you, Liver King, you freak. Anybody who bought that the Liver King wasn't hopped up on something don't know about that natty life. Okay? I, I, allegedly, I don't know. Uh, allegedly, that six-pack that you see there, that six-pack is like some sort of implant. Allegedly, I don't know. But he confessed to being on that Barry Bonds, that Lance Armstrong and he still has followers on social media. He, he, he's, still, he's still going. Like, like you, what's going to happen now that you're off the juice? Are you even going to get off the juice? Why would you? you, you th- you're telling people that all they got to do is, is do some push-ups and eat cow testicles and they could get cock diesel? That's what you've been. And people, they believe that. They believe it. I, I, I got my, I gotta hustle harder. See, that's, that's why I, I, I got to... I got to rebrand myself. You just come up with one stupid idea. And the next thing you know, this guy was raking in a lot of money. He's a big star with his, with his beard and, 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 and his bull testicles and, and, and eating handful, handfuls of liver. But they caught you. But I knew you weren't, uh, you weren't living that natty life. Natty to natty. We're going to pivot to the sickest f- third or fourth time this year. This is a record. Again, just when you thought it was over, 
just when you thought he was dead, just when you thought you heard it all, Looney Tooney Kanye West, he, he's like he's like Jason. He's like the Jason of anti-Semites. He's like the, the he's like Drago. You thought you had him down, and 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 and, and just when you, you you let your guards down, it goes. He said it all. The sickest of the week once again goes to Kanye West. Yo, thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I might write back. I might write back because I read it all. I see it all. Leave a comment.